every morning and every evening I calm my heart by contemplating death, considering myself as dead, then I am able to live, though my body were already dead, I am free to live well, to know what's most important, what I want to be and do, I am. I am not this body. This exercise is a form of body scan, but instead of simply noticing and relaxing, you are letting go of attachment. Start at the top of the body, bringing awareness to your eyes, and silently say, I am not these eyes, and what they see, I am loving awareness. Pause, breathing in and out of your heart center and resting in loving awareness, and silently say, I am not these ears, and what they hear, I am loving awareness. Same with the mouth. Continue throughout the whole body, ending with I am not this body, I am loving awareness. Extend also to practice to the thoughts, memories, emotions, ideas. I am not these thoughts, I am loving awareness, I am not the mind, etc. So you can be awake in your sleep, you'll also be awake in your when you have to shed the body. There's no question of death for such a person. Hatoria, J the Brutanjai. God takes care of the person who has no one to look after him. I honor the light in all of us. The more I love God, the more I love the forms of God, which are all forms. Living from the soul is very much a heart-centered journey. I get on a bus, and by the time I get off, I feel like I have met intimately family members I've known all my life. We're all in love with one another. To live in your spiritual heart with a degree of openness, it entails trust in the one. In that loving awareness, you are not as vulnerable as you would be in the ego, or you think you are separate from others. You are constantly going to sleep and waking up. All you can do is keep searching for the clarity and quietness amidst the confusion of your melodramas. <laughs> 